Hello, this is Professor Benavides, and let's talk about Lab 1, Task 1 from your introductory chapter in our course, ITSC 1305, Introduction to PC Operating Systems. So let me go ahead and read the, uh, the task. It says, after you have read the introduction chapter, open WordPad and answer this question. What is Windows and how can it serve me? Make sure you use your own words and list at least three ways in which it can serve you. Make sure you repeat this question and answer it fully using good English. Save the file using the default file format for WordPad in parentheses dot RTF and name your file task one Windows purpose. Okay, so um, this is right out of your book. Page nine, Windows defined. So the first thing we gotta do is go ahead and launch WordPad. To launch an application in Windows 10, we'll click over here in the search box and type in the name of the application. Now this is one of the ways. You could also use the menu to navigate to find the application, it's up to you. Now, once you start WordPad, we're gonna go ahead and type something in it. It's the directions say to go ahead and, and, and repeat the question. So what is Windows and how can it serve me? And then of course I'm expecting to see something like this, okay? So uh, go ahead and, and research that. And I'm expecting to see something like this. So to save this, I'm gonna go File, Save As. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the desktop by clicking, um, let's see, where is desktop? There it is. It's in, you've got to expand this PC. When you expand that, you can click on desktop and I'm going to put my file there. Now I'm going to call this task one, Windows purpose. I notice that the default is a rich text format. And we'll be talking more about formats as we go along. WordPad does have the ability to save to other formats. Probably one of the more important ones on here is the Office Open XML document, which will give you a .docx file extension. For right now, we're going to simply understand that WordPad, which is one of the accessories that comes with Windows 10, allows us to save files in a rich text format. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. All right. I'm going to go ahead and close. And here is my file on the desktop. Now, uh, what I'm going to do here is to get ready for the rest of my lab is I'm going to go ahead and create my folder by right mouse clicking on the desktop, going to new folder. And the directions say to go ahead and call it lab one underscore username. But you wouldn't type this in, would you? No, it would be your news username. The example that I have in the PDF shows my username. Don't put my username, that's kind of spooky. You would go ahead and use your username. I'm gonna go ahead and use my username. Okay. And then you're gonna go ahead and just drag and put that in there. Then in the future, when we do print screens or create files, we can go ahead and put that right in this folder. Okay, and later on, um, um, I'll show you how to submit um, this uh, to your uh, lab assignment. Okay, well, that's task one, nice and simple. Uh, 